What's going on everyone? My name is JX and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a new mystery synergy, uh, this time for Shocker called Homecoming Crasher. And oh my goodness, is that so obvious? Because, you know, with Shocker, the Vulture, and Stark and Spider-Man in the synergy, it's gotta mean this you know, homecoming spider-man homecoming movie uh with obviously shocker and vulture were in it as villains against spider-man uh and it really narrows it down to three people who appeared in the film uh who could possibly be coming to the game uh i really think it's one character but obviously i want to go through all of the other characters that it could be and kind of talk about them uh and obviously if you haven't seen homecoming uh basically shocker was part of the vultures team uh they're using Shatari tech uh and actually the Shatari tech uh, among other tech is actually created by uh, or at least modified by um, the Tinkerer. Now, the Tinkerer is a cool character. Uh, for sure, if he is coming to the game, fits in the tech class. Uh, in the comics, he has his own mechs. He really modifies other people's weapons, like Jack o' Lantern, um, a mo like Jack o' Lantern. I think I was reading, like, uh, what was it? Yeah, Jack o' Lantern, uh, Rocket Racer Skateboard, you know, Big Wheel, Scorpion Suit. Like, he does a lot of tech in helping other uh, villains and anti heroes alike. Uh, so, definitely a character who's going to fit in the tech class and would be cool if he does come, could tech, like, could buff other characters uh we've kind of haven't seen that um in a while at least in the tech class that helps out other characters uh so it would be pretty pretty sweet to, for him to do that um I'm not sure if we'd get the MCU version, the comic version, or even the PS5, you know, Miles Morales game, because we actually had a, you know, this universe had a different tinkerer, uh, and uh, hers was more about anti-matter, uh, or anti, or matter manipulating we uh, weapons that kind of, like, forge into blades, or forge into armor, uh, and it was pretty sweet. I mean, I, I, I really like the design. If you play the Miles Morales game, uh, she's a great hero, because, you know, you know, you, you kind of want to root for her. She's a good villain who has a lot compared to the to the MCU, where it's just about making black market weapons and selling them. Uh, and um, she'd be pretty cool. But you know, obviously, this is tied more to the Miles Morales game than it is to the comics or the MCU. Uh, so it's kind of interesting on what Kabam will do. I feel like they're just going to go the comic route. Um, but uh, who know? Now another possibility is Prowler, uh, obviously who showed up in Homecoming as well along the Tinkerer. Uh, he really was just someone Spider-Man stopped, and he even mentioned his nephew, um, obviously Miles Morales. <laughs> so you know he'd be pretty cool, and as someone who uh, was in the the Summoner's Choice, um, that would be pretty cool to see you know kind of get you know he was kind of didn't really it basically said a thief with gadgets and gauntlets who was always uh teething through between being a criminal and being a better role model for his nephew so it kind of seems like gadgets you know with the gauntlet seems more tech as well so another tech character uh you know shocker obviously being in the tech class kind of teasing probably another tech you know with vulture as well in the tech class uh so definitely uh, high possibilities for either of these two um, definitely would be cool to see Prowler. Now, he did lose the, this Summoner's Choice from 2022. Then he lost the underdog vote, so he wasn't entered into the contest. Uh, he can't join this year because, obviously, the underdog vote became Bullseye, then Bullseye lost, and then Gladiator won. So he can't join this year, so it could be a year out. Um, but I feel like the most likely candidate uh, is actually Silk. Um, yeah, Silk to come to the game. If you don't know, Silk was actually in Homecoming. Uh, a big surprise to a lot of people is, like, no one realized, oh my god, that was actually Cindy Moon. Um, she was in Homecoming. She was on the team, uh, which, which competed and went to DC. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool that this character is really kind of not known about because she's not powered up yet. She doesn't have her suit. She doesn't have her powers. Um, but I think is a quite likely to come to the game. Uh, especially now that you look back at my, you know, my mystery synergies when I was mentioning is, um, look at the alumni synergy with Jessica Jones. It was alumni synergy and it was with two other characters, Spider-Man uh, and Flash Thompson, who were part of uh, Midtown High. And now Silk is Midtown High. You know, obviously she was in the comics. Uh, wasn't really touched that upon, but in the MCU, it's very much touched upon. She's in uh, the Spider-Man films. Um, obviously... Sandman, I said, was a possibility for that Luna synergy. He's not that synergy. And with, you know, Superior Spider-Man not really being in the map, I really think it nails down Silk to the Illuminati synergy, which means this Homecoming Crash synergy could nail Silk as well because look at Perrin Zemo. He's two synergies. Uh, so I really think Silk is a, is a very much likely... Uh, very much likely candidates um and that's just kind of my opinion because if you look at it here let me look at it oh oh that was the wrong one <laughs> um 
she fits right there in the spider. You're right where you see the science characters. Uh, you have Silk surrounded by early stat spider character in the science class, surrounded by science heroes. This month's Spider-Man event, or Spider-Villain event, I should say, doesn't have a hero. Uh, so I definitely think we're going to get Silk. And there's also another either connected to you know, Captain America or Quicksilver or connected to Scorpion and Electro and the Spider Heroes. Uh, so definitely feels like that could be another Spider person, which Lizard didn't come this month, Silk didn't come this month, so maybe they're both coming in the same month. Uh, now, it would be a double science month, which is a little weird, but uh, wouldn't be out of the question, in my opinion. But let me know who you think. I mean, who do you think? Do you think it's Silk? Do you think it's Prowler? Do you think it's a Tinkerer? Uh, let me know if you think it's someone else. I mean, maybe there's someone I missed. Um, I would love to hear it. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.